Okay, morning folks. Uh, welcome to the briefing on Saturday the 2nd of December. Um, I think yesterday didn't quite go as planned. Um, I thought it was going to sort of, you know, clear up and the cloud break up, but uh, didn't actually happen. Uh, it didn't look like the uh, the sun just had the energy to, to heat things up quite enough. Uh, and the temperature barely went above freezing and the dew point just followed it. Um, could be a bit of a rerun of that today, but the top meteo are a bit more optimistic for the afternoon. What we've got at the moment in the chart is just a sort of very slack system within here. Um, there's, there's a sort of circulation around this way, really. Uh, this trough line, there's some rain that's going down here, showers going down that way, and then more going up the sort of Welsh coast and in between very slack air mass um, with I suppose a, a light at the moment northwesterly drift uh, the Lashen weather station showing no wind at all uh, so within that there's, there's sort of obviously you know no isobars no wind and, and sort of the the possibilities for fog are uh, are certainly there, as I can see out the window now. Um, and the forecast from Farnborough sort of is is sort of both suggesting that and the actuals are confirming it. So key points: uh, three twenty-five knots, with no wind at the moment, and I think it might even be less than that. But yeah, a sort of westerly, northwesterly flow on the ground, light. Southerly, southwesterly flow at flying heights, and they're suggesting that all day. But they're also, if you if you look at that from nine till eighteen, that's the wind direction, and they're saying freezing fog, but becoming um, at some point this morning broken at five hundred feet, and again, Farnborough's four hundred feet above um, Lasham, so it, it suggests it will just slowly thin out a little bit and eventually turn it into low cloud and then becoming um, sometime lunchtime, early afternoon, no significant weather scattered at a thousand feet. That's more than sort of 10k biz, which is pretty much what um, Tom Meteo are suggesting. But then they chuck this in, tempo um, in the afternoon, broken at 500 feet, which is I think what we had yesterday. And the wind changing slowly for this afternoon, swinging around more to the uh, the south. Um, so normally, when you get three lines on a on a taff, certainly from Farnborough, then um, there's lots going on, um, and the weather is going to change. So upper winds, uh, say that there tends there's a sort of flow around here really. So the upper winds are very light, um, southwesterly. And the cloud, it picks up the showers running down through here and the sort of rotation up around here, really, of more showers. It doesn't really show up fog until um, we get a little bit later satellite pick, a visual pick. Uh, Rainfall again just shows the, the showers down through the, the channel and the ones actually circulating up through here. And temperature wise, well, I thought it, yesterday it might have gotten up to two to three degrees. It looked like from the Lashen weather station, it barely lifted above freezing. Um, so, you know, it's sort of similar picture today. I think if it gets above freezing, it won't be much above freezing. Uh, fairly chilly uh, and that obviously runs the risk of the gliders icing up um, so all in all fairly challenging not only for the weather but you know operating the gliders so this is top meteo's take on the cloud it's pretty much what we've got now sub 500 feet fog in there uh, and as the morning goes along that's 12 o'clock beginning to clear up and they're suggesting by the afternoon going to be blue and sunny and pleasant. 
Yeah, and you've still got these showers out to the west. So um, if it goes to that plan, then, then there's a chance. Tomorrow, similar run of events by the looks of it, but this looks like it's um, set in for the day and showering. So you know, less chance tomorrow by the looks of it. Okay, so maybe later on today, uh, this will lift mm. uh, and actually break up and allow us to go flying. Airspace wise, there's nothing around Lasham, very quiet, um, and really not a lot else going on. But I've checked other airspace, uh, no times programs, so yeah, fairly quiet. In terms of jet movements, um, these these will change if if. If at all, what two flight plans for is an EJ inbound. Uh, this morning at quarter to 12, and then a departure um, about an hour later, 12.30, estimated. I would assume it's the same crew. Uh, just bring one aeroplane in and fly another one out. Uh, that will depend on the weather and their weather minima tends to be quite high, so um, certainly don't think that'll take place at uh, quarter to 12. It might be pushed back. Uh, operationally, if they do go out, I suspect it will be 2-7. Um, fairly normal operation. The ground's pretty solid. Uh, and I think I think there's anything else to say. Just be aware of the weather. If it is freezing or it has been freezing overnight these white markers and the white lines tend to be a bit lethal um, the ice tends to stay on those become quite slippy apart from that let's just hope that the the fog and the low cloud lift and you manage to get out there and mike birch will be running the airfield today i'm sure he'll be uh, keeping an eye on the weather all day <laughs>